All right, he knocks on the door, let's go again. Your goal is to be so good that they're like, hey, how soon can we get this done? Listen, if you'll listen to me today, you will close 10 for 10. I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires. I would be something better, energy got a fire in my soul to keep burning, a pain that keep burning. People say, well, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have this. I had everything I needed, the ability to train and learn. If I can see somebody do something, I can emulate it. Can, if, if you see me do something, can you do it? That's right. That's why we're training today. How long have you been doing trees for? Uh, three years. Three years. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Here, come up here. Let's start with you. Come on up here. All right, guys, give it up for him for a second. Come on. Okay, so this is what I want to do. We're going to start training. We're going to start going. Does everybody understand the, the pillars to the house is what? Number one is going to be believe. Would you agree? Okay, now I want you to do me a favor. I want you guys to write him. Yeah, write him. I want to see if you guys believe when he talks to me that I should go with you guys. Number one is going to be believe. Number two is going to be being a master communicator. That's what we're going to go through next, okay? Master communicator. Number three is going to be closing techniques. Does that make sense? How to bring something to an end. If I say no, right? By the way, if I say no to him and, and he's requested information on tree service, he didn't do his job somewhere along the way up until I asked for the business. By the way, I'm going to explain this. When you're good, it should go like this. So this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to take care of this. This is what's going to happen. And uh, we'll wrap it up. And by the way, I'm not sure if I can get you in tomorrow, but I'm going to try to get you in within the next three days, okay? Awesome. Now, what, and I'm, I'll go right into billing. I don't even ask. By the way, most people, when you do a good job, they'll probably cut you off and say, hey, how soon can we get this done? Like, boom. Am I right? How soon can we get this done? Your goal is to be so good that they're like, hey, how soon can we get this done? Like, that's it. You don't even ever have to ask. Now, here's what I want you to do, okay? I'm gonna hand this to you. Is that cool? Yep. Okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, we're gonna do a regular, by the way, do you guys work on the phone in the beginning? Hey, I'm on my way, and then you show up. Is that right? Cool, but the pre-night call, we'll get into that here in a minute. The pre-night call is where you're asking some information about what needs to be done. Is that correct? Okay, cool. We're just gonna back off that for a minute. I wanna go straight to the face-to-face. -face. Is that cool? You guys close face-to-face. -face. Is that correct? All right. Face-to-face -face means this. I can see his eyes. I can see his hands. I can listen to his voice. I can see his posture. All body language. Now listen to me. I need everybody to realize this. I geek out on this stuff because I build killers. So I want you to understand if you never want to miss a deal again, you'll understand why I'm writing down all this stuff. There's amateurs and there's pros. And in a world full of amateurs, this is how we're going to dominate. All body language. And then lastly, um, I'm going to put speaking, confidence. But then we're gonna, I'm going to write down another one. Rate of speech. Okay, now listen, I'm going to explain this to you. I'm not asking any of you to be me, okay? Is energy important, yes or no? Yes. Why? Why is energy important? What would you say? It shows your passion. Bam! Just nailed it. This, this explains to me why you're the trusted expert, why I should go with you, because you're passionate. Has anybody ever seen people do stuff that they really don't genuinely love to do? It's like they have to do it. Someone comes out to your house. I see people go to people's houses and literally it's like people are like, dude, just, this guy's still a stranger. What did I say? Still a stranger. Still a stranger. Dude, when people are around my property, if you feel like a stranger, I'm out. Does that make sense? I'm like, hey, hit me up when you're done. When you go and you're passionate about what you do, like when you show up to people's property, you should be showing up to their property like that's your property. Does that make sense? Remember, this is your business. That's your house. Those are your trees. That's your family member. This is how you talk to people. I need you to understand this and I'm going to let him go. You got to cut the leash. You got to change. Who you are right now is exactly why you have what you have in your life right now. Some of you, listen, you don't have the bank account you really, really want. Change. Listen, if you'll listen to me today, you're going to destroy it. You will close 10 for 10. You will be like Alcatraz. No one will escape you. And no joke. Like, I'm being dead serious. No one would dare not choose you when you become this person. Now, must you protect this person once we build him? Yes. Must you must guard your mind from any garbage, bull crap, or nonsense? Yes. Hey, must you make sure that people don't drain your energy? Yeah. 
Dude, every day somebody wants to come up to you and complain and try to burn one of your matches. Am I right? No ways. I'm out. Hey, man, love you, dude. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. You, you need to believe in yourself. I'll help you with anything you need. If you're complaining to me, looking for me to agree with you, I'm out. If you're wanting to solve a problem, let's solve it. Let's solve it or let's stop talking. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Cool, because I don't like talking about this. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Dude, listen, I'm gonna, if you, can I give you my eyes and just put them in your head for a minute so you can see how awesome life is? This is how you all need to be. Now listen, in order for you to become this way, it's differently than you currently are now. But if you can own this person that I'm talking about, do you think your wives will appreciate you more, yes or no? Yes. Dude, is it your job as the men to bring good shit to your family, the good stuff? You know, every morning I get up and I go to the gym at 5 a.m. I'm back at my house by 7 a.m. I walk into my home, I see my three kids. You know what I do? I shower them with freaking love. I want them to feel the love that I bring to them. I want them to start their day off good with their father, right? Hey, listen to me, and I don't just walk in, hey kids. No, I like play with them. I get them all fired up. I make sure they know how much I love them. I bring the, man, in a world full of dark crap, I'm like nothing but blessings to them. And I tell them, I say, hey listen, don't let anybody ruin your day, okay? Hey, listen to me, there's a lot of people that are out to, to freaking just talk nonsense today. Stay sharp, son, stay sharp. You're the leader. Something were to happen to me today, you're running, okay? You're the one running it. Stay sharp. Audit who you hang out with. Audit what you listen to. If, you're, if people are talking about something full of crap, get away from it. Dude, you guys are in control of yourself. No one else. I can't control you, man. I can't. And by the way, the people that you don't know, have to be like, hey, man, come on, dude. You know you shouldn't be having that conversation. He needs a babysitter. You need a babysitter. The new word you guys need, and people get pissed off. If somebody, if full grown, somebody tells me I need a babysitter, that pisses me off. Fact is, I probably do need one. I probably do need one because I probably should have went left instead of going right, okay? I need us all to realize, can this company 3X by tomorrow morning? Can it? Yes. Damn right it can. It, dude, it can 3X. I'll walk into my office today. I'll say, what's the revenue goal? They'll give me a number. I'll say, no ways. Three times it. Three times it, we're going to do it today, we're going to make it happen, and we're going to prove to each other we have the best team in the world. It, it happens. It happens every time. That's the way we're going to live. I want you to live an unrealistic life, an unreasonable life. Don't ever reason with, is this possible? Remember when I went from like the 100 to 800? I had to go from selling 15 cars to selling 80 cars. This is just a volume game, am I correct? You guys are all getting in front of six to eight estimates a day, is that correct, most of you? Can we close 10 for 10? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can close 10 for 10. All right, so I'm gonna let you roll. Is that cool? I'm gonna hand them this. Eyes, hand, voice, posture, body language, speech, confidence, rate of speech. Rate of speech is how fast you talk while you're talking. I'm not asking to speed talk, but I ain't like, oh, uh, well, today I wanna, yeah, it's like, come on, man. Be passionate about what you do, right? Cool, is that cool? Yeah. All right, he shows up at my home, and we're gonna go all the way through it. Knocks on my door, I open the door, Let's roll. But you got to speak all the way into that, okay? okay? So they can hear you. Sounds good. Okay. Nice to meet you, Sam. Sam, nice to meet you. What's your name? Andy. Andy, nice to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you. All right, so we're uh, taking a look at uh, getting your mesquite tree trimmed up here? Sure. Okay. Um, that's what I have on the information here. I kind of went over with you uh, over the phone earlier this uh, last night, and uh, we were talking about um, going over the irrigation, uh, taking a look at... Um, okay, how many times have you said um? Three times. Well, I was only 30, but. <laughs> All right, everybody. How you doing, Andy Ellie? What's your name? Sam. Sam, nice to meet you. Sam, tell me what we got going on here. I know why you called out, you got a mesquite tree, but talk to me. How many trees we got on the property? Is there any more damaged trees? Uh, What's going on? No. Let's go check them out. By the way, how long you lived here? Uh, five years. Five years? Nice, man. Does this tree mean a lot to you? They're beautiful. You know how long it takes to grow a mesquite tree? Let me see the size of this thing. Let's go check it out. Hey, do I care about his property? Do I care about the home? Am I excited to see what he's got? Yeah. 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 Listen to me. Order taker, tour guide, or closer? Okay, now listen. Here's my goal. Do I want, do I want to be the person that you want to spend your money with? Yeah, yeah that's who I want to be. How you doing? Andy Elliott. 
here to just look at some, uh, the tree you called us about. Dude, what are we doing? I, no, I know, I know. Some of you listen to me. You say, Andy, that's not the way I do things. I know. I know it's not. That's why we're here to change today. You came to this guy's house. Do you think he plans on being your buddy? Do we need him to be your buddy? Yes. Okay, so he doesn't plan on being your buddy, but we're going to make him our buddy. Okay, do you make people your buddy by acting like a buddy? Yeah. Hey, Andy Elliott, how you doing, man? What's your name? Sam. Sam? Nice. I spoke to you on the phone. Nice to meet you, buddy. All right, so talk to me. Where are we going? Front yard, backyard? You, you lead the way. You're the boss. You're in charge. Let's go. Backyard. Backyard. Let's roll. Can we go to the house? Uh, yeah. Go around side. You want me to take my shoes off? What am I doing? I'm being polite. I care about it. You want me to take my shoes off? Are we good? Okay, cool. I love it, man. It's your house. You're the boss. All right, what do we got here? Man, nice yard. Love the house. By the way, that's the tree. Beautiful tree. By the way, while I'm out here today, if I see some other things that look concerning, can I, can I tell you about them? Yeah. Is, that a, is that okay? Yeah. What am I doing? My upsell is ass right away. Yeah, but, but what are we going to do? We're going to say, hey, by the way, when I'm out here today, I'm a little bit obsessed with like trees and you know landscaping and all kinds. If I see other things that concern me, would it be okay to let you know about them? Look at my head. Would it be okay to let you know about them? Yeah, that'd be okay. All right, cool, man. Let's go. I love this. Beautiful yard, man. Dude, I already know exactly what I'm going to do with that tree, but I'm going to let you talk to me first. Am I right? Watch this. What I say? I already know exactly what I'm going to do with that tree, but I'm going to let you tell me what you want to do first. Okay? Why? Who's the, who's the expert? Who's the authority? Who's the trusted guide? Okay? How big do how big you want this ticket to be? Big. Big. Okay. But how, how good of service do you think they want to get? All the service. Dude, a, a deal is only good when it's good for both sides. Does that make sense? Just so everybody can understand this, please, please. Because I'm going to drive these tickets bigger than they've ever been in my life. But I need you to understand this. If your value is not worth it, then you're ripping people off. But if your value is worth it, you've been getting ripped off not getting the ticket. I have a pest control company that was just in here training with me last week. Let's see how good you guys are compared to them. And I'm just going to say this because I like, I like doing this a pest control company. Their goal is they're averaging $200 per door they knock. Does that make sense? 200 per door they knock. There's about 19 of them that were in here. They're running seven to 750 this last week after leaving. Their, man their manager, owner, goal is to get them to 300. He goes, if I could just get them up 100 per door. We 3X their doors by teaching them how to communicate, talk, speak, and be different. Watch, follow me, okay? Yeah. You're a different person, right? Yeah. Okay, change your eyes. Change your eyes. Get, get, get kind of funny. Get loose with me a little bit. Right. There we go. Smile a little bit, bud. Show me some teeth. All right. Well, no, I mean, because like, yeah, yeah. this is important, right? Guys, do listen. Understand this. Before a word even comes out of your mouth, I'm judging you. Does that make sense? Okay. Like, like you knock on my door and I'm like looking at you and I'm like, I like this guy. I don't like this guy. You don't even say nothing yet. I'm like, asshole. I, you didn't even say nothing. You just look like an asshole. Does that make sense? Like you look like an asshole, okay? But see, when I see him, look, how old are you? Uh, 25. He's 25 years old. Most homeowners are between the ages of 35 to 55. Would you agree? Yeah. Most homeowners are probably 40 years old at least, right? Dude, when I see him come to my door, first thing I'm saying, young kid. Okay, young kid's going to tell me to spend my money. So he's got to be like, hey, man, what's going on, man? Hey, by the way, I've been doing this for a long time. I love this stuff. I geek out on trees. So if I start talking too much, just cut me off, man. Where's the tree at? What's going on? Hey, what are we doing? They're like, damn, this guy's excited about my property. This guy, guys, everybody else is like, hi, I'm here. Uh, we're here to look at a tree. Can you point us in the direction? Yeah, that's it. Okay. And it's like, dude, there's nothing here. I don't want to spend more money. I don't want to be close to you. I don't want to listen to you. Do you feel me? Yeah. All right, so listen, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to roll back through them. Remember, what did I say? The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. Is that right? Okay, let's roll through this. All right, he knocks on the door. Let's go again. Hey, pleasure to meet you. It's Sam. Sam, smile. What's your name? Smile. What's your hey. name? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sam, look at everybody. Smile while you're talking to him. Hey, everybody do me a favor. Listen, this is what I want you to do from now on. It, it, is it a skill to smile while you talk? But you must use your mind to think to smile while you talk. Am I right? Can, can, I, can I explain something to you guys? I got a lot of shit going on. Okay? I'm here with you guys. You know where I'm going to be? Here with you guys. Okay? 
When you're at someone's door, you're at their door. Cut it off. Okay, I'm not telling you that you're actors. I'm asking you to be real, but I'm also telling you that you do need to act sometimes, okay? Hey, I got a problem. This guy was going to do this. He just canceled on me. I'm at a new house. Hey, wake up. Hey, what's going on, man? Andy Elliott. How you doing? What's your name? Sam. Sam. Nice. I spoke to you on the phone. Nice to meet you, man. Okay, awesome. So, number one, we're here to do this, this, and this. Um, well, there, is there anybody else that I need to be speaking with? Can it, is it just me and you? Okay, let's rock and roll, man. Hey, where's these trees at? Guide the way. Should we go through the house? Should we go around? What am I doing? I'm actually telling him where we're going to go next, and I'm at his house. Hey, should we go around the house? Should we go through it? What do you guys think? Cool. Let's knock this out, man. Awesome. Hey, by the way, beautiful home. What am I doing? Compliment him. Compliment as much as you can. Hey, beautiful home. Love this, man. Love this area. How long have you guys been here? Five years? Nice, man. Okay, cool. Now, we're going out in the backyard. Now, have you guys done any work on any of your trees in the backyard lately? Have we done any work on them? No? Okay, cool. I was about to say, doesn't look like anybody done a work or somebody did a bad job. I'm just teasing. That was a joke. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making them feel comfortable with me because I'm about to do my job, right? Like, that's what we're about to do. We're about to do our job. All right, now let's get into that. Okay. There's the mesquite tree. Let's roll. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Sam. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Sam, we did our deal. We're all the way in the house now. Okay. We're on the backyard. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. But I want you to smile while you talk to me. Okay. And let's go. Hey, um, so. Uh, here, here we go. Just so they can hear you. Okay. So, uh, what do we got going on today? Uh, nothing. I got this tree. You know, this deal got cut off, and I'm out here. Called you. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, is it in the front yard, backyard? Or yeah, it's you? right here. It's that tree. Oh, oh right back here. <laughs> okay. Um, sounds good. Oh. Come, come on. No, no, no. Listen to me. Hey, hey. Yeah. Dude, don't let these guys get in your head. Uh, do you know how to do your job? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Now. No, you're not. No, you're not. There's a tree. Okay. Okay? There's a tree. I called you about it. Okay. We're in the backyard. Do you, do you tell me to wait in the house and you'll come get me? Or do, I, or do you do something in there with me? If I'm like, hey, it's that, and that, and that. Does that make sense? Or are you like, cool, sir, why don't you go, in, go inside where it's nice and cool, have a seat, let me do what I do, and then I'll come back and get with you. Is that what it looks like? No. Or do I take him with me? Take me with you, big dog. This is your show. That's good. All right, let's, let's go take a look at him. Okay, let's go. All right, sounds good. So uh, when's the last time you had these trimmed up? Um, really haven't had them trimmed up. Really? Really? Um, like, not at all? <laughs> Should I? Do most people say yes? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I've had it done. I mean, I don't know. I mean, are these people that you do business with, like professional tree people? Everybody's different, right? Okay, so like I can be whoever I want, right? But you can't look at me like I said something wrong, right? Like, what? Like, does that make sense? Hey, listen, look, I'm going to ask you something. Here, I'm going to ask, is it, what's your name? Sam. I'm going to ask Sam some questions. Everybody do me a favor, and I want you to understand we're about to get deep into training. Is Sam shy? Yes. Yes, yes. yes he is. Is, is, is Sam, um, I don't know if I'm going to spell this right, but is he an introvert? Yes, he is. What will make Sam not these two things anymore? Training. 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 Competence creates confidence. The reason why Sam isn't where Sam needs to be is because he hasn't done this enough. Sam, I want you to understand something, dude. This is just your job. Yeah. If I walked into a McDonald's, you know, company and I said, all right, who flips the burgers? All right, let me see you flip them. If they're like, I don't know, I can't do it, he's watching me. Well, you don't know how to do it then. You don't know how to do it. I should be able to watch you flip burgers and you should be able to flip burgers. Look, Sam, ready? I want you going to go into this. Sam, what's your first name? Sam. Last name? Aldana. Date of birth? 10, 17, 97. Address? Uh, see, he knows this stuff, am I right? What's your mom's name? Brenda. See, you don't have to think, am I right? This is the way we must operate in business. Listen to me. Who owns us? You do. Who's the best? You are. Guys, do you see why in the beginning I said we got to make up our mind we're the best? Dude, people don't know how to have conversations. See this hand? Take it out of your pocket. Okay? No, watch. I, I get it. I'm not, and I'm not being a dick to him. I'm trying to let him understand that I'm watching his posture. I'm watching his body language. I'm looking if his chest is up and his shoulders back. I'm looking if he's the man that I should trust with this information. I just, I just need to see it in you. I got to walk by you and I got to know that you're the one. There's the prey and then there's the predator. Am I right? Now listen, when I say the word predator, I, I use a term. It's sell like a lion, act like a lamb. That means no one's going to see the lion in me, okay? I'm, I'm chill. I'm cool, man. 
Like, dude, but I'm going to go into someone's house knowing that they probably feel uncomfortable having me there or they probably in most cases don't have great connections with people that they just meet, but I'm different. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I'm not everyone else. That's what everybody needs to get. In order to get what no one else is getting, you got to become somebody that no one else is. Like, dude, you got to change. Dude, Sam, I was shy. I was an introvert. And you know what I realized? You know how much money that paid me to be these two things? None. I didn't get paid anything. Matter of fact, I got ran over. Okay? I had other people that weren't as good as me take my freaking money. That pisses me off. So, what I want you to do, put your chest up. Okay, cool. Now, I want you to understand. See these hands? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, keep your hands like this. Okay? Like, I'm going to put this down for a minute. But if I'm talking, most of the time you'll see my hands like this, right? Why? These things are my weapons, right? So I'm like, I'm like, cool. All right, so Mr. Johnson, see this? If you want to really sell, what are you going to do? Paint pictures, tell stories. Paint pictures, tell stories. What am I doing in most cases? I'm selling ideas, selling situations. Guys, let me explain the idea. I, I can see it already. Now, what are they doing? Now they're trusting you because you can see something they don't see. Guys, oh my God, I can see it already. I know I came out here for the mesquite tree, but let's back up for a minute. How much time do you spend in the backyard? How important is it to you to have a gorgeous, beautiful backyard? Hey, if it's not important at all, you're like, trim the tree, get out of here. I'm cool with that. Guys, I see something in this yard right now that's literally a game changer. Most people don't have a backyard setup like the one that you do, and I can see already what it would look like. If your wife was here and she could see what I saw or you would already see what I see, you'd say, dude, do it now. Number one, we're going to trim this tree. We're going to do it right. I know you just wanted to trim, but we need to go a little bit deeper in that. That's a beautiful tree. That tree probably took 30 years to grow. If I was to make it its best, guess what? You guys would walk out here and you spend, you spend 10, 10, 10 times more uh, time out in the backyard because that beautiful tree. Also, all this other stuff that I see right here, see that, 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 and that? You probably didn't even think about that. You know how beautiful those trees are? Those trees make this house look great, but nobody's probably been here taking care of them because you probably didn't understand that those trees could be as beautiful as they are. I see it already. I just left a house and when I finish with the trees just like that, it literally the curb appeal, the property value increases, everything changes. It's like the aura, the love, it's, it's the outside home. It's like, dude, when the grass gets high on a property, the house looks like a rundown house. But if you, if you mow the yard right, guess what happens? You know how people put the lines in the yard, right? Makes the difference, don't it? Listen, that's what we do. This is art. Number one, this is something that needs to be done, but it's art. And we love what we do. We're the best. Once we do this for you one time, I will assure and guarantee that we will be your, your tree people for the rest of your life. And if I did a great job, I probably would be, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, cool. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do, okay? With your permission, notice I said, with your permission, I would like to do a little more work than we came out here to do today. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow your mind. I'm going to take care of that, this, that, that, that. I'm going to upsell the bill. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a person who's passionate about doing the work when no one else is. Now listen, I need you to understand this. This guy, this guy right here, he may not be this way. But dude, listen to me. Do you want to get paid? Yes or no? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. If he wants to get paid, he's going to have to change. Am I right? Okay. What's harder, to stay the same and not get paid or to change and get paid? What's harder? Stay the same. Stay the same is harder. Guys, everybody's asleep. Everybody's asleep. These things that I just went through here, all right, eyes, look at, look at them with your eyes. No, but I want you to understand something. No, relax, but really look at him with his eyes. Does his eyes look like he's the authority Yes or no? I need you to see, and that's the deal. You already know it. Now, I'm gonna, listen, I'm not, I'm not down with you. Don't question yourself. I say the eyes are the window to the soul. I can see whether your eyes are trying to see which way this deal is going to go or if your eyes have already made up which way this deal is going to go. I can tell if you believe unwavering 
what you're telling me or if you're wanting me to believe. I'm not questioning whether you believe in me. I already know you do. I've made that decision for you. When you make that decision for them, there's no decision to make. Dude, guys, listen to me. You know what a ripoff is? You guys doing a great job and you guys not being able to communicate how great of a job you do and explain the value to the clients for the job that you do, which means you're getting underpaid. And by the way, a lot of people would say, you guys aren't salespeople. You're really not salespeople. That is the truth. You get paid like salespeople. You really help people. You help people who have been ripped off their whole life, who have paid for shit and haven't received enough value. You've, you've been a, you're around people who honestly are around people all the time who don't do what they say they're gonna do. And you guys are different. When you're different and you believe you're different, you can stand on that. Does that make sense? You know how I know that our numbers are gonna triple? Whether you guys can do these simple things right here. These are the most important things. I need him to look at you guys and for you guys to be completely convinced. You see his eyes? Look, come here, come here, yeah, come here. All right, I want you to look at them. Do you see a difference in eyes from him to him, yes or no? Yes. Do you? Why, tell me why. He looks more alert, looks, looks sharp, confident. Yep. confident. See that? Okay, guys, listen, I swear on my life, I'm gonna build you into being killers. This thing, it's not about word tracks. It's about this. I see your eyes and I'm looking at you when I'm talking to you. Like your eyes, you still don't look as confident. You, your eyes definitely don't. You're 50-50, you're 50-50, you're 50-50. You believe, he believes, but he's got soft eyes, okay? He's 50-50, he's got glasses on so I can't see. He believes, he believes, 50-50, 50-50, he believes. He, he didn't believe, but now he's believing. 50-50, and then he believes. I can see it in their eyes. And by the way, listen to me. Hey, I'm just guessing. Does that make sense? I don't know what your paychecks are. I didn't say raise your hand who makes the most money. I'm just seeing from your eyes, okay? Like if I was gonna spend my money with you and you are gonna provide a value to me, before I said yes, am I already sold by looking into your eyes while you're talking to me? So number one, you got that, you got his eyes. Number two, remember his hands gotta be here. Okay, all right, so guys, so listen. So here's what we're gonna do. See how I'm talking like this the whole time? Why am I using my hands? My hands create energy. You feel me? Dude, you don't use these hands, okay? Again, I'm out. Do you wanna be their servant or do you wanna be the leader? Servants are like this. It's like, no, like I want you to serve them, but I want you to serve them like this. I want when you go to their house, I want you to be obsessed with what you guys do. Like guys, we come in here, number one, number one tree, tree company in the world, man. Hey, by the way, whether you are or whether you're not, call your shot and you are. Because are you going to be? Good, then call it now. Dude, when I started my company, I said we're the world's number one sales training program. My wife goes, we're not. I said, we are. She goes, we're not. I said, we are. She goes, we're not. I said, we are. And she goes, I get it. That's it. And we are now. We are. That's how this works. You have to call, it's the prayer of faith. You have to call it in advance. This is what's gonna happen. Dude, if you're sick, you thank God for already healing you and you get healed. But you don't say weak prayers like, please heal me. No, dude, you say, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Now I'm good. And then all of a sudden it just manifests, right? So I want him when he, when he looks with his eyes and his hands and his voice, what kind of voice do you wanna speak with? Hey. I have authority, but by the way, listen, when I'm explaining stuff to somebody, like some people are different than others, so depending on how I'm talking to you, I'm not gonna teach talk, I'm gonna just communicate with like direct um, words. Does that make sense? Okay, posture. Dude, your posture, you cannot be all poopy pants and slouched over. Don't be like this, you know, like stand up, does that make sense? No, but some of you, I guarantee, will watch you go pitch a door and you're like doing all this and it's like, it's like, dude, what are you doing? You look like a slinky. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, from now on though, when we walk up to a door, when we talk to somebody while we're in their presence and they can see us, we're going to be alert like a soldier. You feel me? Like we're gonna be alert. We're gonna be somebody that they've never seen before in their life. And, and we're gonna be easy to be around, okay? Like, like, like I'm not militant when I'm with people. I'm actually quite the opposite. I'm extremely loving. 
And I'm not even very funny, but I try to drop humor in constantly. Why? To make people laugh and loosen up with me. You know what I'm saying? Guys, listen to me. You create your own economy. You create your own reality. Okay, but if I see you come into my door and I'm telling you, dude, I see your eyes even off. See, they're not thinking I'm going to look at this guy's eyes and I'm going to decide. No, but they are walking out after seeing many people in their life and they are looking at you saying, oh, they sent a pro out today. Good. Or they're like, oh, some kids at the door. It's like, dude, they're calling your shot before you even open your mouth. So what do you got to do? You got to realize they're judging you. So you want to make sure that you're ready. You want to make sure your shit looks good. Make sure your hair's cut. Make sure your face is shaved. If you can do three things. Number one, learn how to have a good self-image. Self-image is everything. I know that you guys at some point in time may say, I'm just a tree guy. You're an idiot. Okay? Your image is everything, which is why it's time now to get in better physical condition and shape than ever before. Also to make sure you're, you know, hey, hey, if your shirts are getting faded, and you know, they got freaking crap on them. Like, hey, it's time to throw it away. Turn it into a workout shirt. Gotta get some new shirts. Gotta look sharp. Okay, if your hair ain't fixed, if your hair doesn't look good, if your face isn't shaved, I mean, like, guys, like, that's a problem. If your shoes are all nasty, I mean, like, dude, you gotta keep yourself looking tight. Okay, these people, they're gonna spend a lot of money with us. At least we want them to spend a lot of money with us, right? So we gotta make sure from the image. Also, secondly, when we speak, I want you to speak to them differently than anyone else has ever spoke to them before in their life. Okay? You got to make sure when they hear you, they're like, dang, man, I need to do what they're asking me to do. This is great. This is what I always wanted. I always wanted to be taken care of. I feel like this person's going to do it. And then lastly, sales. The sales part is the sales process. Okay? With no process, there's no deal. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.